Hey everyone, good morning. It is fairly early still. It's, I don't even know what time it is. I just know it's early <laughs> and it's Sunday. Um, my kids got me up super early and my husband's on chef today. So it's going to be a long one. Um, but I think that actually is worse. <laughs> We're just going to leave the light off for now. I'm still tired. You could probably hear it in my voice, but, um, you won't get to see my lovely face today because I'm still in my jammies. So, but I was going to make some waffles for the boys and I thought I'd just, uh, show you guys, um, the waffle mold because it is amazing, super easy to clean and makes a really good uh, amount and perfect for freezing. So I don't expect that a lot of you will pop on at this time, um, but the video will be here for you um, to watch after. Oh, hey, Lori, you're the other crazy one up. <laughs> so I've already, um, I've already put together my dry and my wet ingredients here. Now, I am not making gluten-free. I'm not making the easy peasy uh, bagel waffle mix, um, but we certainly have that, and I'm not eating these, so I just used a regular uh, waffle recipe from epicure.com, which I will uh, link below once I'm finished here. Oh, Christine, yes, clearly the... Um, <laughs> The only people on right now are um, parents, so of young children. So I am doing a demo, yeah. I'm making you waffles. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So I'll link the recipe. So I'm just making regular, um, all-purpose flour uh, waffles, and I'll link the recipe. But um, otherwise, if I was making them for myself, I would use our easy peasy um, waffle bagel mix. Yeah, so I apologize. I'm pretty sleepy still, actually. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to put my, I've made a well. I'm going to put in my um, wet ingredients there. Now, if you were using gluten-free, you'd want your batter to rest for at least 10 minutes. Um, just so that it gets rid of a little bit of the um, grittiness that uh, the kind of other chickpea flours and that have, as opposed to the finely uh, processed, I would say, um, all-purpose flour um, but like I said I'm just using regular all-purpose flour for the kids they don't have gluten sensitivities so yep Raylan's gonna put a show on for you so this is gonna be a long day okay so I've mixed that up what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a tablespoon of our summer berry mixed in and if you didn't already know this, our summer berry dip mix actually gets its beautiful red color from hibiscus um, flowers. So, yes, dear. And that's I'm at whining already. So we're just well. going to put that in and it will probably turn our waffles pink. <laughs> can I help you? Uh, you can help me, yeah. Can you hold on to the summer berry? I know it's your favorite. What you could also do is take some yogurt right now, um, or it, but when you put your waffles in the oven and make some summer berry yogurt and it makes a good side or you can put it on top with some fruit. So I'm gonna take our sheet pan and I do have the liner on there, which I probably don't need, but I just store it like that. So I'll just leave it on there anyways. And I'm gonna use our waffle mold. Oops. Now I've already poured what I've just done. You never um, want to use spray oil on our um, silicone cookware because uh, it will damage it. But you often don't need to, what's that there? Your hands are cold. Okay. And you often don't need to um, oil it at all, but for our waffles, we want them to pop out real easily. So I have gone ahead, you turn on the stove, buddy. I've gone ahead and put in some oil and I'm just gonna use, I just poured a little bit in and I'm just gonna use a basting brush. I have to put you down, honey. You're way too heavy for this if you want your waffles. So I'm just gonna use a basting brush to 
put some through. It makes it really easy to um, get it everywhere you need. It is an extra step as opposed to spraying, but I promise you um, your cookware will last a lot longer. And let's be honest, I have no idea what's in those spray things, so um, I'm just not comfortable using it either. But it is 100% not good for your silicone. Okay, so that's, uh, that's nice and oiled. Okay, and um, all I'm gonna do is put in my uh, mix. Now if I was smart, I use my scoop for, sorry guys, I'm in my jammies. I'm gonna take away my whisk. The cat's trying to eat the dog's food. This is what I hear. So, <laughs> okay, so just to keep it even, I like to use my cookie scoop. It has, it's not Epicure, but um, if you wanna know where I got it from, just shoot me a message. But I use it in baking all the time so that I can evenly distribute um, things when I'm baking. And it's so inexpensive. <laughs> Here I am selling another product here. Um, so I'll show you what this looks like in just a sec. I'm almost done putting in all the batter. And hopefully I've done this early enough so that I can inspire you to make some uh, waffles this morning whether you love me or hate me for that. What's everybody else planning? That's okay, they share water, it's all good. So for those of you who missed my uh, post three weeks ago, we did get a um, cat, Luna, which we have also named her Luna Tick. She's insane, um, but the kids just love her. We love her too. That's okay, she'll get it off. But Emmett is very, very concerned and always uh, concerned with the cat. So there we go, I've got all my mixture in. And all I'm gonna do now, I've set my, um, back it up buddy. I've set my oven to 425, I'm gonna pop that in, set my timer for 18 minutes, and that's it. Um, easy peasy. That's going to be really easy to clean up. You want to say hi, Emmett? Hi. You've got to tilt your head over. Tilt. Tilt, tilt. Can you see yourself on the screen? There we go. Say good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. What are we going to eat for breakfast? Mm -hmm. What did I just put in the oven? Waffles. Yes, waffles. So, um, that's the big, you know, yeah. So that's it. I pop my waffles in the oven. They'll be done in 18 minutes, and then I will uh, take <laughs> I will take a photo and uh, post it for you. Um, so I use the summer berry, and then of course, if you're going to make them gluten free, you could use our easy peasy waffle bagel mix. Um, and that's it. I'll take a photo, and I will post it, and I will also link the recipe for you guys. All right. Maybe I'll pop on later and make something else when I'm a little more presentable. But uh, that's it. Easy peasy. Happy uh, coffee hour. <laughs> Bye, guys.